What's up guys, Noah Arquiza here, back with another Thread Fix episode. This time we're doing the Washington Commanders. Brand new team name for Washington, and I've been looking forward to doing this video for a while. I knew this name was coming, so let's do it. I'm not surprised that a lot of people don't like the name or uniforms. It's pretty normal when these things happen that people typically don't like it or don't get along with it uh, at first. I don't think anybody had issues with their uniforms previously, but I'm glad they went out on a limb and tried something different, even though it's not a smash hit. I'll be giving you guys my thoughts on the new name, the branding, and the uniforms, as well as some things that I think they can tweak on in these new uniforms to make them better. Also, I'll be doing my own concept uniforms for them with this new name. While critiquing our peers work in my college graphic design classes, we were always taught to talk about positives before talking about the negatives or the things that they should change in order to not berate them or put down their work. So I'll be doing that here. Also, these are just my opinions as a uniform designer. I think the uniforms are well made and pretty good designs overall. So this is less a critique on the designers, but overall the choices for the Washington commanders and like for the football team with its history that it has. So I think it's fair to say that all the blame can go fully on Daniel Schneider, the owner of the Washington commanders and certified scumbag, big dumb, dumb idiot who uh, shouldn't have known any team and uh, let alone a very prestigious one in the NFL for that matter. First of all, the commander's name, no one else in any of the major sports leagues has it, so it's unique in that aspect. Although I think one of the reasons for that is because it's a very generic name, one that you would probably see in like Madden or something, which a lot of people have already made that comparison. Commander is a naval officer rank in the US military and can also be applied to other higher up military positions. So it's fitting in that aspect since Washington DC is the nation's capital. The three stars on the collar, which represent probably the uh, DC flag, makes a lot of sense because stars also signal ranking in the military as well so it fits along that theme although I think they could have made the stars a little more prevalent now the bad thing with this name is that they'll be called the commies forever and as an Eagles fan we've already been calling them that uh, since the name has been announced this is more along the lines of the branding thing but they didn't come out with a commander specific logo I guess the circular logo like the badge is kind of the commander's logo I suppose but they just reworked the W logo I wish they would have come out with a C logo or something related to the commander's name and the biggest problem with this name is that there were a lot of other better names now none of the names i saw leaked were like very good like oh my god that has to be the name they were all just a lot better than commanders i think so i'm gonna run through some of my favorite and some ones that i think uh are just interesting to talk about so first off the best name i thought in my opinion was red wolves now i guess they couldn't use it because of trademark purposes but personally that name would have been a killer and i would have loved it they also could have just gone with red tails and done a lot of different things they probably had a lot of different mascot options with that name as well and it fits the branding and team in a similar vein they have the name hogs or red hogs or warthogs which is really Really fitting for the organization because that's similar to their nickname of the 80s it's a unique name it's aggressive and it's also very fitting of a football team i think admirals is actually a better version of commanders although it's still not a great name armada might have been actually my second favorite here because it's a great name in that it's a singular noun like the union there's no s at the end but i guess there's some other like negative connotation with that name but i would have liked it presidents was another name that i saw out there which not a good name in my opinion and not very fitting for the branding but it would have been funny if they took the old Redskins logo with the Native American face and just swapped that out with whoever was president at the time, and that would be their logo. And finally, I think their easiest choice of names and what they should have done is just kept Washington football team because I think it grew on a lot of people. When it was announced, I personally was a fan because I'm a big soccer fan, and I love the simplicity of it. It has like a historic feel to it. I just think it would have been the better option. Would have been a little, a little blue balls on them not announcing a new name, but I think it might have been the smartest move. Now let's move on to the uniforms, the part you're here for. There is actually some good that came out of these new uniforms that I want to summarize pretty quickly. The first thing is the new helmet finish, that metallic satin looking finish is fantastic. It's cool, it's modern, although I would have preferred a yellow face mask. Their new striping, the three stripe sleeve design on the home jersey is good. It's traditional. I like the sizing difference between the colors that adds a little bit of uniqueness to it. I really like how they went with the yellow numbers on burgundy this time around. And the home burgundy overall as a uniform is good, I would say. They have a new alternate and a new color which is always fun. Uh, it's always fun adding new uniforms to the repertoire for a team. And the design on the collar and sleeves of this uniform is new, it's interesting, and it's fun for a NFL team since no NFL team has something similar to this, I would say. The text logo on the black uniform as well has a really good military feel to it and it, I think it really fits on the front there uh like right on the right above the heart on the chest but let's talk about the bad now and obviously I'm an Eagles fan so I see everything that they do 
in a more negative light than probably the more neutral fan. These are just my opinions, so let's run through it real quick. The new W logo is worse than the previous one, and I don't think they needed to change it. Uh, they just needed a Commander's logo, like I mentioned earlier, and that would have been a pretty solid hit. I think the previous W logo and their overall font and everything was pretty good. The Commander text logo on the chest of the burgundy really kind of kills that uniform and makes it look really bad. It seems a little too big, and the lines on it just aren't very good uh, for a standard uniform. It fits the black uniform uniform I think but not the main home. I think the stenciled kind of military stylized font overall looks pretty bad. Uh, the number font on the burgundy and black just doesn't look good to me and it appears a little too thin. Also the number texture, the dots on the numbers, um, I'm not a big fan of. It makes the uniform feel cheap to me. Everything I mentioned though here in the bad category so far are all things I think that can grow on me and I might like in a year from now when I see it on the field and everything but the points I'm about to cover are things that I'm more like adamant that I don't like and the first thing is the half tone effect on the away jersey which is like the gradient effect on the numbers and sleeves i think it just does not look good i think that's something like reserved for one-off college uniforms more so i think it's good to do something like this because maybe that progresses our or my idea of an NFL uniform. Even then, I'm not too pleased with how it's implemented. I don't like how the away uniform uses so much black, and I imagine they used black instead of yellow because they want to wear that with like the black pants or black helmet, so it gives them another like alternate option, but I would have just preferred that would be a completely different jersey. I think the white needs to just be the burgundy and yellow and then obviously white. The black uniform just does not work for me personally. Black and burgundy don't go well together because burgundy is a dark color, so I think they should have really cut down on the burgundy on like the numbers and things here in this uniform but the worst atrocity of these uniforms is the helmet for the black uniform which by the way they picked the absolute worst helmet design or, or style of helmet to show it off on it's like the big lineman helmet it just looks so stupid with the w on the forehead and then the numbers i think just get rid of the w maybe add a stripe but again they're trying different things so i think that's good overall for the nfl and I think overall these uniforms are going to grow on people more and people will come around to liking them a little bit more than right now. I think the uniforms are designed well and I think in different colors these uniforms would actually be good and like up to great. Now to the thread fix part of the video, finally. How would I fix these? First option, just don't change them from the previous uniform. Maybe you add a black uniform and you keep the previous home in the way. But obviously I'm a big fan of change. I like when people try new things when it comes to uniforms. So I'm actually pretty pleased that they did this. Now, here are the changes I made to the home uniform. And now my uniforms are made in Photoshop using templates from my website, templatefc.com. So if you wanna create your own, be sure to check out that website down below. But the first thing I did was change the text logo on the front. So you could go with just the W logo there, but I just took the lines away from the commander's logo and just left the commander's text by itself. I got rid of the stenciled font. I just made that a solid font like on their away uniform where it's solid. And I got rid of the distinct texture with the circles. I added TV numbers too here, um, the numbers on the shoulder, because I think it doesn't hurt to have them on the uniform. Their uniform doesn't have them, which is fine. I added a pants and sock stripes, and I think they should have one or the other because like the uniform is a full uniform. Sock stripes can add so much to a uniform and pants stripes, you don't really need them, but they help. Like every little design element improves the uniform in my opinion, and I like to see every element of the jersey designed. For the away, we got rid of the black and just went with the yellow. And you can keep those burgundy sleeves as well. Obviously, I got rid of the halftone gradient effect going on on the away jersey as well and just left the solid traditional stripes and the solid numbers. And for both of these, I went with the yellow face mask because I personally think that fits better. For the black uniform, I think the W on the helmet can be replaced with the three stars that's that are on the collar which represent the DC flag. And I also added the texture that's on the collar and the sleeves to the helmet like as a stripe, just to incorporate that design elsewhere. I also minimized my use of burgundy here. So it's only really on the sleeve trim and the pants stripe, but the little bit of burgundy, I think keeps it from looking like a Steelers jersey, especially the font. I went with a army font here. Now for my concept uniforms for them, I had like three things in mind. One, I wanted to have a commander's feeling uniform. So there was some military aspects to it. Two, I wanted to keep it traditional in the realms of an NFL jersey. And three, I wanted to modernize it a little bit. So it felt like a jersey 
for today and the future and not one from 40 years ago. So first of all, instead of using the stenciled logos and fonts to make the uniform have a military connection, I went with stars from the DC flag on the sleeve stripe. So we have those three stars on each sleeve and the stars, I think overall give a military feel because we talked about earlier commanders in the US military or high ranking officials have stars to represent their rank. Also for the last 40 years, they've had two stripes on their sleeves. Now they're usually together. So on the white uniform, you have the burgundy and yellow right next to each other. Here I spaced them out to kind of replicate the DC flag. Obviously they have the two colors that are different still, but I really like that sleeve design and I cut it uh, so it has like a sharp finish to it. So it's not just all around the sleeve to give it that modern feel. The font is a more traditional football font, which I like better. It does have a subtle stenciled line in the middle to give it kind of a modern feel. I think instead of a black alternate, the better option was going with a yellow helmet alternate. So you could wear the home or away with a yellow helmet instead and then mix and match yellow pants in there as well. Could also throw in a white helmet there to have an all white uniform, mix and match that. I don't know how many um, alternate helmets teams will have since that helmet rule is changing, but those are better options than the black in my opinion. I also have a color rush kind of inspired uniform that's all burgundy with yellow and no white. Uh, which is something I do in a lot of alternates that I make. If you guys have been following the channel for a little bit, you probably know this. Another thing they could have done if they really wanted a black uniform is to, instead of going with the burgundy and yellow, I know they call it gold, but it's really yellow, but they could have gone with burgundy and an actual gold, which still would have looked good. It would have been similar to their throwback uniforms. And I think people would have gotten behind it, even though it would have been a kind of drastic change for them. But the burgundy and gold, uniform with this style still looks good and then you could have the white with a white helmet as well and then if you have the gold you can do the black uniform and achieve it so much easier because black and gold obviously looks great and again you have to avoid looking like the saints but i think this design looks nothing like anything the saints would wear because these stars are so distinct the washington logos are very distinct and obviously the saints have a gold helmet so having a black helmet is vastly different. You could also go with the yellow alternate jersey too instead of the black and go with the yellow helmet and there's a few other combos here that I'll show you. Um, you could have the yellow numbers or white numbers on the home, things like that. That is essentially the video guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you guys think of Washington's new uniforms and their new logo and their new name of course. Let me know what you think of my little fixes and my concept uniforms as well. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel for more. I have my college football series continuing soon with uh, that being my next video to upload. And if you like Washington's new uniforms, that's great. Thank Nike for that. And if you don't, awesome. It's Dan Snyder's fault.